With a glittering career lasting over 60 years, Roger Moore is simply one of the world's biggest screen legends. He's really famous, Roger Moore. Everybody knows who Roger Moore is. You uh, want an autograph? He's a huge movie star. I think he's iconic. He's one of the all-time greats. Must you shout? Can't you speak in a civilized tone? He was good-looking. He was charming. Smooth, suave, stunningly gorgeous. All the ladies went bananas. I don't think I've ever seen a more beautiful man than Sir Roger. And he didn't just look good. Hold it. He was a matinee idol who could mix it up with the tough guys. He was a very physical man. He was very, very fit. That's what the art of being a movie star is. Guys want to be you and women love you. Roger next played an even smoother character, Lord Brett Sinclair in The Persuaders, which he co-starred in with Tony Curtis. I'll tell you something, your lordship, you've got style. Oh, you're not too bad yourself. You're not just teasing me, are you? And no character was more loved than his defining role, the smoothest action hero of them all. My name's Bond, James Bond. And this Bond came with a defining quality that was pure Roger Moore. Let's try reverse, that's backwards. The one thing that Roger had that the other characters didn't have as well was his great humour. Bond, what do you think you're doing? Keeping the British hand up, sir. Very dry and very right. He never took himself or it seriously. Useless. <laughs> Sheer magnetism, man. Loved that the whole watch sequence, and he very much, may I add, he also thoroughly enjoyed being in, in bed with me. Quite revealing. You couldn't ever find a fence from it. It's just hilarious. His wife Louisa was at the bottom of the bed watching and making sure we didn't get up to anything. Now, if Louisa hadn't been there at the foot of the bed, who knows? You're not trying to take advantage of me, are you? Thought never crossed my mind. Off-screen, Roger had no license to kill, but that didn't stop him enjoying his own 007 lifestyle. He really led a Bond life without the danger. Fast cars, fast speedboats and all this sort of thing, sunshine, French Riviera. Imagine he stays in the best hotels and he wears the best shirts. I mean, you know, this is the jet-setting lifestyle, which James Bond enjoyed, but Roger Moore really invented. To have his celeb friends come round on Sunday lunch. From Frank Sinatra to Gregory Peck, David Niven, Elizabeth Taylor, it was very normal. Certainly having a father who was an action hero, um, and at that time really one of the only action heroes really on the screen, it was pretty cool. I never sort of thought I got a movie star dad, I just thought I was lucky that I had two dads, one that was on the television and one that used to come home. That magnetic watch, have you ever used one of those in real life? Uh, they don't work. <laughs> <laughs> Madeline Smith, I see, is sitting there and she remembers the prop man up her skirt pulling a wire down the other side. <laughs> he had a better job than I did. Are you a daredevil, like James Bond? Yeah, I, I take calculated risks. <laughs> I'm told you're scared of heights. I don't like them. You don't like guns? No. You hate explosions? Exactly. These aren't the great assets for Bond. <laughs> no, but it shows you what a hell of a good actor I am. <laughs> now, in Ian Fleming's books, James Bond's...